to Image a Damage Drive, click Image and select your source and target devices. Let's have a thorough look at the imaging settings to understand how they helped us course handle the damaged media. In the Passes tab of the Imaging settings, you can see the five passes. There are a few key settings each pass has. The Jump on Error defines the number of sectors the imaging engine will skip on this pass upon encountering an error. The timeout setting defines the maximum time task force will spend trying to read the data within a sector. The max read block size setting. The bigger it is, the faster the data is read, but smaller blocks allow more thorough data retrieval process. To adjust the settings, click on a pass. Here you can see the reverse direction setting. It allows reading sectors of the drive in the opposite direction on this pass. Disable read look ahead option prevents the drive from caching the sectors beyond those addressed by the imager. You can adjust the pattern with which the unreadable sectors will be filled on the target device. The passes with adjusted settings are marked yellow. In the Hashes tab, you can adjust how hash should be calculated during this imaging session and select the type of hash to be used. In the Miscellaneous tab, you can select a few different options. Read Smart Table information before and after imaging helps keep track of the drive's health status. Power down source and target devices helps when, for example, you deal with an unstable source drive. Limit target disk size to source size using HPA for SATA devices. And finally, save report in the target file folder, which is available only for image file targets. By clicking back, the adjusted settings are saved. You can double check that all the settings are correct and then go to the presets. There are currently two presets, Default and Vitali. Let's create a new one so that later you can easily use the same settings when dealing with a similar case. The presets can be exported, sent to your colleagues so that they import and use them on their task force units. Now let's start the imaging session. And here comes a bad sector. It is marked red and Task Force performs a jump by 1 million sectors. Above the read speed graph you can see the total number of encountered errors on this drive and it is constantly growing. 
The same is recorded in the log. Now let me explain exactly how the multipass imaging system works and retrieves data from the bad drives. This is the space of the drive that you are imaging, and Task Force reads data sequentially from the first sector to the last one. Once Task Force encounters a block that contains a bad sector, it performs an automatic jump by 1 million sectors as defined by the settings of the first imaging pass. Then it continues to image the sectors after the skipped area. So why do we choose to perform the jump after an error? Because based on our experience in data recovery, errors often come in groups, and you will encounter more errors in the subsequent sectors in many cases. That's why we choose to skip the potentially bad area and continue imaging the good areas of the drive first for a more efficient imaging process and more gentle treatment of the drive. Once the first pass is completed, Task Force returns to the problematic area of the drive and spends a little more time, as defined in the timeout settings, to read data in this area. Should it encounter another bad sector in this area, it will make a smaller jump by 20,000 sectors. On each subsequent pass, Task Force will be allocating more time to read a bad sector and making smaller jumps to narrow down the bad areas of the drive and efficiently read data from the good ones. At the end of the last pass, you will end up with 90 or more percent of the data from the drive. Very often, it's 95, sometimes 99 percent. With reverse imaging option selected on the second pass, Task Force may be able to narrow down the bad area of the drive faster, as it will read all the good sectors in the opposite direction up until it hits a bad sector. Coming back to our imaging of a bad drive, you can see that there are already 51 bad sectors encountered during this session. And down under the read speed graph, the log has recorded all the jumps it made. In Task Force, you can pause and resume an imaging session. A report about the section will be automatically created by the system. To resume the session, click Image, select the same source drive. The paused session will be listed and by clicking the Resume button next to the session, you can restart it. Task Force will continue to image only the remaining sectors that it hasn't imaged before the pause. Back in the home screen, you can look up all the reports related to this session. The imaging started report enlists all the initial settings, the times, and other details. The imaging paused report gives you the log with all the errors and jumps performed. The imaging resumed report again shows you the settings and the timestamps.